Plan B, what in the world is a plan B? Talking about the idea if you're going to do something, if you're really going to commit yourself to doing something, to doing something great. If you wanna become successful, if you wanna prosper, there is no room for a plan B. You have no time to think about plan B when the only goal here is plan A, that's succeeding. Talking about it in this video, the very simple idea of not having a plan B. Let's go. Now, everybody will tell you that you should always have a backup plan. You should always have a plan B. Now, that's fine to have a plan B if you plan on not succeeding, if you plan on having a fallback, if you plan that whatever your idea is, you're not gonna be successful, you're not gonna get to that point. That's fine if you wanna go ahead and already set yourself up for failure. No matter what happens, you should be dead set on whatever it is. You should make that your lifelong goal. All your aspirations, all your efforts, everything should be going towards that plan A. So when I first started out filming, when I first started filming as a young kid, my goal was to basically make money filming, to travel the world, to do whatever the hell I wanted to do. And look at me now. But really when I look back at the process from seeing where I am today, from where I've come, there never was a point where I had a backup plan. There was never a point that I told myself, well, Patrick, if this filming stuff doesn't work out, if you're not successful filming, you can always go back to working construction with your dad. That was never in the cards. That was never a thought. My only thought from day one was that I was going to become successful filming and I became obsessed with it. Everything that I did, every choice that I made, every little second of the day was spent working towards that goal, working towards that plan, plan A. There was no plan B, no plan B ever. And like I said, people are gonna be mad that I'm suggesting that you should not have a backup plan. If you really, really want something to happen, you have to go for it with everything. Now obviously, if you have a family, you have a mortgage, you have bills to pay, I'm not gonna tell you to quit your job today and go out there and chase your dream of becoming a professional ice skater. That's probably not a good idea. But if you have a real plan, a realistic goal, a business goal, a life goal, I don't know what other goals are, life and money, that's basically, I guess that's all the goals. You have the actual willpower to get through all of the failures along the way. You're going to fail, no doubt about it. When I first started filming, there was plenty of failures. There was plenty of times where it just didn't work out for me with a certain company or whatever it was. There was things along the way that made it seem that it was impossible for me to get to the point that I wanted to get to. But I never faltered. I never stopped believing that I could do it. Whatever you want to do, whatever goal you have, whatever business you want to create, you have to know that business. You have to understand that business. You have to understand every little tiny cost from top to bottom. You have to look at everything. You have to have the experience. You have to go out and really work hard to get to that point. You can't spend any time thinking about plan B. You don't have time to sit there and think about the backup plan. Your only focus should be on plan A. Everything that you do, every decision, every choice should be leading towards you being successful at your plan A. And I'm gonna go ahead and say that almost 100% of people who are successful believed uh, that they would be successful. Everybody who has something today that worked for it, that really worked for it, they believed from day one that they would get to that point. If you don't have confidence in yourself going into a business meeting, if you don't believe in yourself, people are going to notice that. It's going to hinder you. It's going to make it harder to be successful if you yourself don't believe that you can be successful. Whatever it is, like I said, this channel is not just about day trading. This channel is not just about filming. If you wanna be the best damn car wash detail guy in Florida, you better start working hard at it today. You better figure out what it is that will separate you from your competition. You need to find your edge. Everybody has to start small. You gotta find your little niche and you gotta build inside of that niche. Build a nice little following, build people inside of a small niche who 
really appreciate you, who can back you, who can support you. Find those people and then branch out to other niches. Go to a larger niche. There is nothing stronger in this world than having actual customers who support you, who recommend you. Your first customer, your first client, whatever it is, they have to believe. So if you don't believe in yourself from day one, who will believe in you? If you can't believe that you can deliver whatever it is that you're promising, who is going to believe you? Another aspect that you can focus on when you are focused on your plan A. Plan A, when you're focused on plan A, you need to make sure that there's a little bit of wiggle room there. Now, I'm not saying you should give up your dream. Let's say you wanted to become a filmer and you wanna film NASCAR. That's your dream to film NASCAR. But over the years, you start to film other things and all of a sudden, you're making a lot of money filming fishing. Don't be afraid to pivot. You know, have that plan. Your plan A should be what your goal is in life, what you want to accomplish. But at the end of the day, you should always be focusing on going to where you want to be. Whatever your goal is, you should be focusing on getting there. There's going to be opportunities that are going to show themselves along the way. For me, when I first started filming, I was filming wakeboarding. And then I started filming kiteboarding. And now, I'm filming YouTube videos about day trading and drones and all this other stuff. So. For me, I just really wanted to always be my own boss. I wanted to create videos. I have fun creating videos. I have fun editing and doing all this fun stuff. So that was my goal from day one. But when I first started filming, I was filming wakeboarding and all I thought about was I was gonna be the best wakeboard filmer there ever was. I was gonna work so hard to become the number one wakeboarding filmer that at the end of it all, I basically didn't even care about being successful at filming wakeboarding. I figured out that success wasn't gonna come just from filming wakeboarding. That success would come from filming a lot of different things. That success would come from pivoting and finding other little niches that I could get into and spin, just like this channel with day trading. Two years ago, I had no idea about day trading. Two years ago, I did not have a YouTube channel. And now today, over 50,000 subscribers later, over 5 million views, all of these really amazing stats, all of this stuff is happening. I've really been successful here on YouTube because I understand there's gonna be pivots. It's not always gonna be exactly like you planned, but my overall larger goal is still intact. My overall plan A was to become successful at filming and making videos. And now I went from filming wakeboarding to filming day trading videos, boats, and other stuff here in South Florida. Being the guy that everybody likes, being the guy that makes really core, awesome videos is not going to pay the bills. Being that guy is cool, it's awesome, but at the end of the day, you gotta make money. At the end of the day, there's always gonna be opportunity that's gonna come along and you gotta be open to it. And that's why I'm stressing the fact that your plan A, your goal, your overall plan, should not just be focused on one little tiny thing. It should be an overall goal. Maybe your goal is that you wanna own a business, but you're not sure exactly what that business is going to be. You kinda of have ideas, you have where you wanna go with it. Maybe it's a sales business, like maybe it's a construction business. Maybe you wanna get into construction, but you're not sure what exactly you wanna do inside of construction. So it's good sometimes to kind of have that broad idea and then kind of hone in once you get more experience in that sphere, once you kind of figure out, okay, this is where I can really excel. This is where I can really get in there and become successful because I see an opportunity that other people don't see. And that's what it comes down to. Seeing opportunities as they come along. The thing that you have to remember is that that opportunity is not going to present itself with a plaque that says this is what you should do. That opportunity is going to come along and everybody else might miss it. Everybody else might not think that it's gonna be profitable. Everybody else might see it as like, that's not gonna make money. But if you have the vision, you have a goal, you have a dream, and whatever that little tiny opportunity is, if you're able to grab it and then take it and turn it into a profitable business, more power to you. But the thing is, is people are gonna tell you from the start, they're gonna say that you can't do it. That's not a good idea, that you can't be successful doing whatever that little thing is, whatever that little opportunity is. You have to believe in yourself because nobody else is going to believe in you or for you. No one's gonna give you more confidence than you have in yourself. Like I said, when I first started the YouTube channel, 
People told me that nobody would watch my videos, that nobody would care, I would never make any money. And then last year, I made over $40,000 from YouTube, making videos on YouTube. I'm really, really thankful for everybody who does watch these videos, everybody who supports the channel. And I wanna give back, I want to, like I said, hopefully resonate, hopefully reach one person, one person out there who's right there on the brink of being successful. You need a reminder that at the end of the day, you have to believe. And that all comes down to having a plan, having plan A. You gotta be laser focused on one goal, one plan, and you gotta go for it with 100%. You gotta give it 100%, baby. Shake and bake. You gotta go for it. If you're not going for it, you're not moving forward, you're not living, you might as well be dying, baby. And that's really what it comes down to. There's no room for backup plans. There's no room in second guessing yourself. You have to believe because if you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will. And that's what it comes down to, having your plan, plan A. And that's all that matters. At the end of the day, friends, family, enemies, whatever you wanna call it, all these other people, there's not gonna be anybody else out there who is gonna be more obsessed, more focused on your plan than you. So you make sure, make sure whatever your plan is, whatever your goal is, that that's all you're focused on. That's all you're thinking about. You gotta to get to that point. Become successful and then everything else just kinda of works out. You might lose some friends at the beginning. You might lose some family members. People might say that you're crazy. You gotta believe in yourself and you gotta go forward. You gotta keep moving forward towards that goal. It's that simple, my friends. It's that simple. <laughs>